Hello and welcome back to Picks and Portraits. Anyone that has been here for a while knows just how much I love Halloween. It is my favorite holiday, my favorite time of year. Pretty much since the beginning of this channel, we've dedicated October to all things spooky. We've looked at Ladis Osterovich's Reanimated Bugs, The Simpsons' Trios of Horror, the terrific and terrifying stop motion of your Z Trinka, and even how 90s cartoons celebrated Halloween. Today, we are going to be covering Rankin Bass and some Halloween specials that may be a tradition for some, but I feel like are lost to time, especially considering how beloved the studio's other holiday specials are. A few years ago, we looked at the relationship between Rankin Bass and anime that was based around the Christmas specials, Rudolph and Frosty, as well as the life of Tadahito Moshinaga, who was responsible for many of their Animagic specials. This is what Rankin Bass dubbed their brand of stop motion, Animagic. As a quick refresher, or if you're unfamiliar with Rankin Bass, it began as Videocraft International, a production studio founded by Arthur Rankin Jr. and Jules Bass in 1960. This duo produced many children's television shows and specials, including the iconic Christmas classic, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's probably what they are best known for. Their studio folded in 1987, and while some of their specials have endured through today, many haven't, like their Halloween output. Now we are going to be looking at three Halloween specials Rankin Bass produced, starting with 1967's Mad Monster Party, with a question mark. This was an attempt to capitalize on the popularity of campy monster comedies such as The Monsters or The Addams Family. Both were popular in the late 60s, and the Universal Monsters uh, were also kind of enjoying a bit of a resurgence thanks to series like Shock Theater, Horror Hosts, Creature Features. It was directed by Bass and written by Mad Magazine creator Harvey Kurtzman. The characters were designed by artist Jack Davis, whose work appeared in Mad, as well as EC Comics. The animation was done by MOM Productions in Tokyo, under Moshinaga. One thing I love about Rankin Bass is their specials are often the perfect snapshot into what popular entertainment was at the time. Whether it's the references they make, or the stars they showcase, like Burl Lives and Rudolph, or Jimmy Durante and Frosty. Mad Monster Party features the voice talents of Boris Karloff, which is on topic, and Phyllis Diller, as well as Alan Swift, who voices most of the characters. Karloff appeared in many iconic horror movies, most notably Universal's Frankenstein. Diller was a comedian and a staple of 1960s television. Kind of a weird plot here. Boris von Frankenstein, Karloff's character, invents a nuclear weapon and invites all of his monster friends to a party to show it off. Pretty much all the standard monsters here, Dracula, Wolfman, the Mummy, there is even a take on King Kong. 1967 was the summer of love, and there is plenty of hipness here, including a far-out dance sequence featuring Little Tobia and the Fibulas, which are like the skeleton version of the Beatles or any number of mid-60s pop groups. Interesting to note, this was a theatrical release, unlike their other specials, which were produced for television. It came out in the summer. I can see why maybe this hasn't been embraced as fondly or as widely as Rudolph. It's feature length, and I feel like this hurts it, as some parts really drag. None of the characters are all that likable. Uh, there is also some pretty questionable content here, which may contribute to its relative obscurity. Mad Monster Party would be adapted into a comic book the following September. Five years later, a sequel was produced, Mad 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 Monsters. <laughs> this premiered a little early for Halloween, September 23rd, 1972. This was part of the ABC Saturday Superstar movie series, which only ran from 1972 to 73. It was like a movie of the week for kids that aired on Saturday mornings. Unlike its predecessor, Mad 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 Monsters was traditionally animated by Osamu Tezuka's Mushi production. The plot here is a wedding being planned by Boris von Frankenstein for his monster and bride. That's the party. Many of the characters returned, even if the stars didn't. Uh, there is no Karloff here, no Diller. In many ways, this is just a rehash of Mad Monster Party. Some scenes are straight up lifted <laughs> from that film. That same year, 1972, Rankin Bass produced the final Halloween special we are going to be looking at, Jack O' Lantern. This was part of Rankin Bass's Festival of Family Classics, which was a series consisting mainly of adaptations of fairy tales uh, and other public domain stories. It is a story told through flashback about a rural family who is having trouble with their crops. 
They believe it is the work of crows. Michael, who is narrating the story in the future, <laughs> sets out to build a scarecrow uh, to help save the family farm. He carves a pumpkin for its head that comes alive, similar to Frosty. <laughs> it is revealed the pumpkin is actually a leprechaun that has disguised itself as a pumpkin seed uh, named Jack O' Lantern. The O prefix, leprechaun, Irish. <laughs> Jack informs the kids that uh, it is a witch, actually, that has been destroying their crops, uh, Zelda along with various ghosts and ghouls. Most of the plot involves Jack clashing with Zelda. Eventually, he returns to his original form, uh, his leprechaun form. The character designs are similar to those seen in Twas the Night Before Christmas. This was my favorite out of the three. I love its use of color, sort of sepia-toned. It's also considerably less campy, with tighter writing. Uh, that is not to say it's uh, the greatest. <laughs> there are some very bizarre choices here, like a subplot featuring talking animals uh, that doesn't really go anywhere. It is available here on YouTube if you want to see it for yourself. I will post a link in the description. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today. We are going to have lots more Halloween themed content coming at you this month. I suggest uh, checking out some of our older stuff as well. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and if you have the means, please consider supporting us on Patreon. For just five bucks a month, you can get access to dozens of exclusive videos and series like Century of Schlock, our journey through 100 years of animated smut. You will also help keep videos like this coming out more regularly. That's patreon.com slash portraits. As always, thank you so much for interest in this channel, and thanks for watching. Stay spooky.